Component Studio 2 allows you to include images as icons in text. Note the lightning bolt on this card. That's placed in a text box and is not a standalone layer. Let me show you how this is done. Start in Images with the icon that you have uploaded. For an image to be used as an icon, this button here must be enabled. Make sure it's green. In this example, I have four icons I'll be using. This tells the system that you want this image usable as an inline icon in text. With this button enabled, we can go back to our design or data set and configure the icon. Looking at our card effect field, we'll see the text here says fire twice and then the energy icon. To get the tag that calls the icon in the text layer, select the icons button and choose the icon you want. That text is now attached to the clipboard. Simply paste it where you want it to appear. If we change this text to match the name of an icon, it'll swap it out for that icon. Now the energy symbol changed to a damage symbol. But now, what if we want to tweak how that icon appears in the text? Let's say we want it bigger than the rest of the text. We can use style tags to adjust these inline icons like we would with any other text. So for this example, I'm going to use the style big. I can add my style tags around the tag for the inline text and it will apply that tag. Now we see my damage icon appears bigger than it did before. So we can use style tags to better control our inline images. Now here's another trick you can do. Look at my card title. See the icon that's changing in that card title? I'm calling those in a slightly different way. First, let's look at my data set. I'm using the icon column to accomplish this. Note that it's a text column. But if you're a keen observer, you may have noticed that I don't have the greater than less than signs around the text to call the tag. Let's look at the title asset to see what's actually going on. In this section here, it's where I call my icon. So I have the greater than less than symbols around a variable that calls the name of the icon. This way, the text within the templating language gets pulled in for each card it's on. And so I'm using the text from my icon column to dynamically change the icon that's being called by that tag. These were just a few examples of how you might call images as icons in line a text layer. If you have questions or comments, leave them below here on the YouTube channel. Go ahead and join our component.studio Facebook group or join the conversation on Discord at the Game Crafters server. Until next time, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make the best games you can.